Lord Jesus, you are the firstborn from the dead, showing us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the faithful witness, giving us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God ever faithful, by the resurrection of Christ your Son, you restore your people to eternal life. Grant us a constant faith and a certain hope that we may never doubt that you will fulfill the promises you have made. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some Jews arrived from Antioch and Iconium and turned the people against the Apostles. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the town, thinking he was dead. The disciples came crowding round him, but as they did so, he stood up and went back to the town. The next day he and Barnabas went off to their bed. Having preached the good news in their town and met a considerable number of disciples, they went back through Lystra and Iconium to Antioch. They put fresh heart into the disciples, encouraging them to persevere in the faith. We all have to experience many hardships, they say, before we enter the kingdom of God. In each of these churches, they appointed elders, and with prayer and fasting, they commanded them to the Lord, in whom they had come to believe. They passed through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. Then after proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia, and from there sailed to Antioch, where they had originally been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On their arrival, they assembled the church and gave an account of all that God had done with them, and how He had now opened the door of faith to the pagans. They stayed there with the disciples for some time. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. All your creators shall thank you, Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make them to man your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. Let me speak the praise of the Lord. Let all mankind bless his holy name forever, for ages unending. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Peace I bequeath to you, my own peace I give you, a peace the world cannot give, this is my gift to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and shall return. <coughs> if you loved me, you would have been glad to know that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you this now before it happens, so that when it does happen you may believe. I shall not talk with you any longer, because the Prince of this world is on his way. He has no power over me, but the world must be brought to know that I love the Father, and that I am doing exactly what the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. St. Paul experienced uh, many wonderful and exotic adventures and uh, experiences. He also survived execution, well, his first one at any rate. And in today's first reading, we hear how fanatical opponents stoned him to death, and they dumped his bruised and battered body outside the town, only to find that he later regained consciousness and many people might have made a quick exit at this point, but not St. Paul. He went straight back into the town to try again. And there he continued to proclaim the good news of Jesus, encouraging new converts to persevere in their faith. Most of us will encounter difficulties in our lives, and followers of Christ are not distinguished by better luck than anyone else, but by their conduct in times of difficulty and trouble. And like St. Paul, we are called to pick ourselves up when others knock us down. We do not run away from things, but we forgive and we re-engage. And it is by the courageous example of people of faith that others can find hope and encouragement. Hardship is not something to which Christians are immune or something that faith takes away. On the contrary, says St. Paul, it is the way by which we come to God's kingdom. gift to us is the peace which the world cannot give. In his name let us ask the Father for all our needs. That the leaders of the church may strive to bring people everywhere in mutual understanding, cooperation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. 
who Lord, are hear our prayer. that peoples of all nations may work for justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who are troubled, afraid, and anxious may find true peace and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That peace and love may reign in our homes and workplaces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the dead may enjoy eternal peace especially for the Apostle of George Morabito. May you accept him in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And let us take a moment to pray for our own needs. Lord God, grant us to give the peace we need Help us to make peace with ourselves and our neighbours, and most especially with those of our enemies. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, receive the gifts of your joyous church. You have given us cause for great happiness on earth. Grant us the consummation of that joy in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world, by dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, filled with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Anthony our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember uh, also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Protect with loving kindness, Lord, the people you have renewed to the Paschal mystery of Christ, and grant them this reward, the resurrection of the body to glory everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.